It's round 10 of the FIA World Rally Championship. We've come back down under again. Welcome to Rally Australia. Does it get much better than this? We're on the beaches of the Coffs Coast, the glorious Coffs Coast. The stages, they are just a little bit inland, but we're enjoying the sunshine. We're enjoying the beaches. We're enjoying the kangaroos of Rally Australia. But let's go and have a look at what the drivers might expect on the stages of this year's Rally Australia. I know we said we were going to look at the stages, and they are unique, the stages here. And to be honest with you, they're just behind us, the Bridalvale stage just behind us. We're on our way there, but my goodness, how could we not stop? Look at this, a field full of kangaroos. Australian stages are unique, Australian wildlife is unique as well. I know you Aussies get slightly amused by our obsession with kangaroos, but how can you not love these beasties? Look at them, how impressive are they? Okay, so as you can see, continuity is not so good. We have made our way into the stages though. We're not in the stages where we were yesterday above the sea. We're actually, we've come south of Coffs Harbour, around Bellingen, the Newry stage kind of area. And look at this, this is so typically Australian. Fantastic stages, typically Australian, but look who we found, George Donaldson. George, just, just floating around just these floating stages. Around. You know me, Colin, man for detail. I'm out checking my locations. Uh, checking out the road surface, very technical, very technical stuff indeed, Cole. Well, let's talk about that. Rally Australia coming up, 20 stages, kicks off on Friday morning when we come actually to this area Friday morning. Let's talk, George, about the road surface. This is a great spot here. Guys are wrecking, so there might be one or two cars coming past. This is interesting. It's rained a little bit recently here. And, George, let's take a look at this. When it rains, we get this, don't we? And this fully bound up, Cole, and that's quite a loose surface. When it dries out, it becomes absolutely loose, and you like can this. start to see it here, and it clears, it gets rougher, much rougher, and just slippery like you can't believe. When it rains, when it's actually wet, there's a film on top of that, it's like Indonesia slippery, like water on ice, unbelievably uh, slippy. Remember uh, three years ago, oh. Sebastian Loeb? A big bingo. A, a big, big bingo, bingo. you're a huge bingo, bingo didn't you, George? Australia for a crash. What's interesting, though, is today, a really warm day, 27, 28 degrees, but underneath these trees, George, and this could be a feature of the rally, we might find that it's predominantly dry. We get this slippery stuff. Look at this, this slippery stuff. But under the trees, as you say, that sliminess, it's going to be quite a difficult one to judge in that regard. It will be, Colin. And again, looking down the road, you've got this characteristic on this rally of the, the sun coming in through the trees. It's difficult to actually read the surface. Is that dry? Is it wet? Mm. Is that a shadow or is it grippy? You just don't know. L Tricky. Last year it was full dry and we didn't really see any bingles. We saw one big bingo for uh, Chris Meek, didn't we? Oh, yeah. But other than that, I think the conditions this week could be the defining factor. It's not really, whether it rains or not, George, First on the road for Sebastian Ogier. You know, if it rains, you might think he might have a little bit of an advantage, but as you say, it gets slimy, which, and that slime disappears quite quickly. If it stays dry, he has to clear away the, the marble. They're not really marbles, yeah. but the loose surface yeah. here. Difficult, really, to predict what road position is going to do here. There is a possibility that being first on the road will not be a bad thing. However, it's a fairly narrow window of possibility. Mm. You know, that hour or so, between it being wet and slippery and dry and very, very grippy like we have here. And then after that, drying right out to be uh, dusty and slippery once again. So it's a tough uh, area and it's not likely to be a massive advantage to be first on the road, nope. if, if anything. And the man who's going to put pressure for sure on Sebastian Ogier this week is Yari Mati Latvala, an absolute ripper of a rally in Germany a few weeks ago until, until that final morning where he put the car off the road. It was a bonzer of a performance there until that huge dingle he had. I mean, it was just, was it a dingle or a dongle? A bingle, a bingle, what's a bingle, a bingle. A bingle. What's, what's a dingle, what's a dongle, and what's a bingle, and what's a bongle? A bingle's a crash. <laughs> I've got it written down. He's got it written down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, these Australian words, we can't remember them. George has got the crib sheet there. But Latvala, I think George, has to have a huge chance here, as does Chris Meek, who went very, very well in Germany a few weeks. So different surface, obviously Meek has got the the hangover from this rally last year. Yeah. What do you reckon? I think it'll come. the winner will come from one of those three. It would look like it. Always an outside chance of uh, Andreas Mikkelsen doing quite well because he, he's able to put these pretty fantastic performances in, hooning around as he does, you know, another Australian term there. The, uh, yeah, but uh, make a good outside chance for Chris. You know, he's shown very well. He's recovered from all his misdemeanors last year. 
He's used those to build himself up. He's not, there have not been negative experiences. And Germany was, everyone saw that error he made in Germany. It was a, a marginal, marginal, wasn't even a mistake. It was just an occurrence. And he certainly didn't chuck the car off the road. He's in great shape. I think we can see him, the see those Citroens coming up and challenging the VWs if everything goes well. And no bingles. Well, yeah, no bingles indeed. Uh, George, you mentioned the Citroens. That means maybe we have to take Mads Osberg into account. I'm not so sure. I think Mads needs to find a bit of confidence on the surface. We look at M Sport, George, three times winner of this rally, Miko Harvenen, but my goodness me, he's struggling for something right now. He needs it to go his way here, and I don't think there's much he can do. I think it'll be him relying on other drivers if Harvenen is going to put in a challenge for a win here. It, it's been like that all the way through the year. We keep waiting, we keep expecting, and we keep hoping, because we're all big Miko fans. He's a great character of the championship, and we want him to do well. You know, some people say he's past it. He's not old enough to be past it. You know, he's only just a little bit older than Marcus Gronholm was when he won his first World Championship rally. My goodness me, he should be hitting his prime. Why isn't he? He can't figure it out. Change something. Figure it out, Miko. Figure it out for us, mate. Get out there and win. Yeah, that'd be good to see. But I reckon, as I say, the top three here, I think, is going to be three between Sebastian Ogier, Yari Mate Latvala and Chris Meek. I'll go Latvala, Ogier, Meek. George, who are you going? I'll go, uh, I'll go long on this one. I'll say Meek, Latvala, Oji. There you go. Oh, that's interesting. Now, let's just have a quick moment of silence because the authentic Aussie cameraman has brought us to this fabulous spot. Look at this. Just look at this. How Australian is this? Just a moment of silence to appreciate the Australian sounds. Wasn't that beautiful? The sounds off the Australian swamplands. Fantastic place. As I say, Friday stages we are here. It all kicks off on Friday. It is 20 stages here, 315 kilometres off the finest Australian stages ahead of us here at Rally Australia. In terms of the weather, well, we're not going to give you the weather forecast right now because me and Georgie D, we're heading to the beach. I've got my glamorous assistant, so look out for that little video. We're doing a little weather preview very shortly. But as I say, kicks off Friday morning, 20 stages of Rally Australia. It is going to be a ripper.